Hey y'all, and welcome back to Beyond the Pot. This is the first episode of 2021. I know 2020 has dealt us all kinds of crazy, but we have 2021 to restart, renew, and recalibrate. We're about to kick this thing off. I am giving you three healthy meals to get that started. Here we go. So the first meal we're gonna do is a veggie egg white frittata. It's loaded with vegetables and it's very fresh and very light and very healthy. That's what we want this year, right? We're trying to do better. Um, you can put meat in it, but I wouldn't suggest you do that just to keep it healthy. That's the key, healthy. And so it's only a few ingredients and we have egg whites, uh, we have mozzarella cheese, use a cheese, that does not have color. We want white cheeses. Um, we have tomato, onion, some pre-sliced mushrooms, and some spinach that I'm gonna cut up. That is all that goes in your egg white frittata. First, we're gonna cut our tomato. We're gonna dice this up in nice sized chunks so you can get the taste and the flavor of the tomato. Then I'm going to dice up my onion, um, medium size. You don't want that too, you don't want a bite of an onion. Um, I have pre-sliced mushrooms, but you can get whole mushrooms. You can get portobello, cremini. You can do um, white buttons, which these are, and slice them up. I got them pre-sliced, makes your life easy. But you can always slice your mushrooms. Or use pre-sliced. And now we have our spinach. All we're gonna do is cut this up and we'll throw it in at the end of our frittata. Now we're gonna go to the stove where we're gonna saute up all our veggies and get our eggs going. Now we're at our stove and we have our pan at medium high heat. We're gonna get that hot. We're gonna go in with some olive oil so we can cook our veggies. First in, we're gonna go with onion. We'll cook those down first. Get those translucent. Break them up too. You don't want big chunks of onion. And translucent means that they're just getting clear. Like see-through. Means they're cooking down. These are getting translucent, so we're gonna go in with our mushrooms. Drop one. It's filled with veggies. If you have big pieces of mushrooms, you can break them up. Like that one didn't. <laughs> now we'll go in with our eggs. I have two cups of egg whites that I'm gonna pour in. Make sure your veggies are kind of spread out so they can get everywhere. Looks good. Throw those mushrooms on the other side if you don't see that they are spread out. I'm gonna throw my spinach in. Cause these egg whites are gonna cook up over this. And throw our tomatoes. Oh, this looks so good. Keep your oven on. Your stove on, I mean. We're gonna top this with some mozzarella cheese. Again, if you want to season it again at the top, you can. Season with a little salt and pepper. And 
And we're gonna go into a 375 oven for about 25 minutes. So our 20 minutes is up on our frittata. You don't want it to be super wiggly in the middle. This is wiggly because I have it in a nonstick pan. So we're gonna go to our stove and that's the frittata. You can see the spinach and the mushrooms and the cheese melting, the tomatoes. It smells divine. And so there's your frittata. Second meal is a citrus salmon with a mixed green salad and a lemon vinaigrette. You can use this for a dinner or you can use this for a lunch option, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We have a, I have a side of salmon and I have rinsed it with cold water and I have it on a piece of aluminum foil on a baking sheet and I sprayed the aluminum foil so the bottom won't stick. And I am going to season both sides of the fish with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. After you season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, you're gonna rub the top of your salmon with some olive oil. You're gonna put some olive oil on it. And rub it in. And on top of that, rub it in real good, all your sides. On the top of my fish, after I put my olive oil, I'm just gonna zest about half of a lemon. Get some of that citrus flavor. So from the lemon zest, I'm gonna put my thyme sprigs on. This is fresh thyme sprigs. Make sure you spread them all the way out across your fish. Then we're gonna go in with one lemon and it's sliced up. And we're gonna put those on, we're gonna lay those on top of the fish. Before we seal up our fish, I'm gonna drizzle some agave on top. You can use honey if you like. I'll do a little bit of agave, just a little bit. And now we're gonna seal up our fish. I have a pan that has two sides, but I want it all the way sealed. So get another sheet of foil and make it like a packet. Remember our oven is at 375 from the frittata. And so you can just leave it at that temperature. 15 minutes in a 375 oven. And we'll check it after that. You want your salmon to be opaque in color and flaky. And then we're gonna take the top off of the, the foil top off of the fish and we are going to broil the top so you can get a nice little crisp on it. It's gonna be really tasty. While your fish is working, you can make your lemon vinaigrette for your mixed green salad. And so in my Vitamix goes, or you can use a, process, a food processor or any type of blender you have, a Ninja, whatever you want. Um, we're gonna go in with our ingredients. And so I have fresh squeezed lemon juice, freshly, freshly squeezed from about two lemons, two, one, one lemon. <laughs> I have some apple cider vinegar. I have some agave. Get all that out with my handy dandy rubber spatula. Perfect. Going in with some garlic. Actually, why, why do I have a little one? I'm gonna go in with some garlic. And some Dijon mustard. A little Dijon action going on. Some fresh parsley. And I'm gonna season it with some salt garlic powder, pepper, and oregano. 
garlic powder, and pepper, and my oregano. We're gonna put our lid on, and as we're blending that, we're gonna add our olive oil. And so I have this on, I think three, two or three, and then I'm gonna go put that lid on. How about you turn it on, Krista? There we go. I'm gonna pour my olive oil in. So my 15 minute timer went off and I'm gonna see what it looks like. Oh y'all, this is good. Oh, that looks amazing. Pick that up. Pardon my hands. Woo! That looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna put it on broil for about two minutes and get a little crispy topping. Woo! So look at that salmon. Oh my goodness. It was on broil for about, I did about three or four minutes so it could get up to temp. And look at that. The edges of the lemons are crispy. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna pair that with our salad. I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm gonna put this whole meal together. The citrus salmon with the mixed green salad. And so I have some spring mix right here. You can do spinach, greens, romaine, whatever spinach, I mean, whatever um, greens you like for salad. I just chose spring mix. And so I'm gonna put my lemon vinaigrette on it. Ooh, it smells so good. That on there, toss it up, toss those greens. So I'm gonna put some of that on my plate. Looks really good. I dropped one leaf. And then I sliced up some tomatoes and cucumber because that's what I like on my salad. I'm gonna put that on top. And I'm gonna cut up my salmon. Oh, it's flaky, look at that. It's flaky. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more of that vinaigrette on my salad. Look, if you want to do that, whoo, that ain't never hurt nobody either. And so that is your citrus salmon with your mixed green salad and lemon vinaigrette. It is really, really tasty. Tell me what y'all think. So the third and final dish we're going to make today is zoodles. Zoodles, what are zoodles? Zoodles are zucchini noodles. Noodles that look Actually, it's zucchini that looks like noodles. And so I have a spiralizer in my house somewhere. I don't know where it is. But if you don't have one, you can buy them like I did. Uh, so they are literally, it's all zucchini and it's just in the shape of a noodle. And so I'm going to make a roasted red pepper sauce to go on top of these noodles, like a marinara sauce, but it's with peppers. And so in my Vitamix, we are gonna go with, and I bought jarred peppers. You can make your own roasted red peppers on the stove if you have a gas stove, by all means do that. Make your life easy, buy them in the jar, in the pickle aisle, next to the relish. And so I have about two roasted red peppers, about a half of fresh squeezed lemon, two cloves of garlic, Get in there. So 
some Parmesan cheese. If you want to add cheese, add cheese. It gives flavor. If you don't and you want to keep this like vegan, leave it out, okay? So about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese, some parsley, some basil, and we're gonna add our spices. We have garlic powder, some black pepper, salt, and a little bit of paprika. If you have smoked paprika, it'd be even better. Paprika, and then we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there and whiz it up. So in this hot pan, I'm gonna put some garlic. Woo! That's a lot of garlic. I love garlic. Toast it up. A little bit. Throw your zucchini noodles in. That's it. Throw those in there. Season it up with some garlic powder. Some black pepper. It's a healthier alternative to white pasta, like pasta noodles. And saute those around. Zucchini takes no time to cook it. You don't want to overcook it. You want still a little bite to it. A little bit more salt. You don't need a whole lot of salt either because you're going to put the roasted red pepper sauce on it that has salt in it. And then we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to these noodles. The garlic smells good. Throw some Parmesan cheese in. So. Take our zucchini noodles, put it on a plate. Get on, look how long that noodle is. It looks like noodles, actual noodles. And that roasted red pepper sauce that I made earlier. We're just gonna top it on there. And that's a good meal and you can pair it with that salmon made earlier or some chicken breast or just that by itself and so that is zoodles with a roasted red pepper sauce I really need y'all to go and try these sauce recipes this lemon vinaigrette is to die for you can put it on fish you can put it on chicken salads it's really really tasty and the roasted red pepper sauce it's no cook no bake no nothing it's all food processed and it comes out so tasty like honestly check these sauces out try them i will drop the recipe down in the comments below and let me know what you think about these sauces they're really really good and there you have it folks three meals that can kickstart you to a healthy 2021 and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to beyond the pot and look forward to more coming soon see y'all later